Hello and welcome to the next video. This next this video is gonna be pretty long, but it's gonna require a lot of it's gonna have a lot of information that you will need for the next few classwork. Um, however, as you can probably tell, this is a review. So here's a such a question: How can we multiply square roots? Making my little funny thing here: square root of ants times square root of ants equals ants. So we're gonna actually prove that today, kind of ish. Um, but yeah, make sure you take notes, pay attention, and ask any questions if you have any. Okay, so before I get into the real lesson, here's a key concept. <clears throat> Hopefully most of you remember this. Square root of a, b, you can split that up into square root of a. First part, times square root of b. You can also go backwards. Square root of a, b is the same thing as square root of a times z. So for example, square root of 18 is the same thing as 9 times 2. You can go ahead and simplify that even more, and square root of 9, we know, is 3. Square root of 2 stays as square root of 2. Quotient properties, pretty much when you divide, same thing. You can pretty much split up a square root into the top part. In this case, A and the bottom part, B. So square root of A on top, square root of B on the bottom. Here's an example again. Split it up. Square root of 2 goes on top. Square root of 25 goes on the bottom. And keep going um, to get square root of 2 on top and square root of 5 on the bottom. Now notice that this one is boxed around with the red thing. Uh, red box around it because I'm gonna go into more detail of, in of this in um, the next few classworks. <clears throat> okay, so here's our first example. Multiply giving the expression square root of three times square root of seven. Now I wrote this part up here. I'm gonna box it actually. It's the property I just talked about in the last slide. Square root of a times square root of b equals square root of a times b. You kind of just put everything inside the little house. So square root of three times square root of seven. Same thing as 3 times 7, put them inside the little house. <coughs> What's 3 times 7? Some of you, it's the same thing as 9 plus 10. You guessed it, it is 21. So that's it. It's that easy. Multiply things on the inside. We're not going to go to simplifying so much yet, but I will expect you to simplify as much as possible. Here is our next example. Square root of 9 times square root of 2. Now I'm going to do it one way here, and I want to challenge you. Try to do it a different way. Um, method one, method two. There is one way that might be easier than the way that I'm going to show you. But anyway, square root of nine times square root of two. Let me rewrite that. Square root of nine times square root of two. Remember, you just multiply straight inside. What's nine times two is 18. Square root of 18. For now, we can leave it like that. In the next chapter, in the next few slides, you will see that we can actually simplify this a little bit more. For those of you that want to go into it and see if you can figure it out, remember you do the little tree, you keep going, and then you rewrite it again. <clears throat> but let's keep it like that for now. Second method, give you a few seconds, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can try to figure out another way. Okay, so now assuming you pause the video, um, which I really, really hope you did, let's look at this. Square root of 9 times square root of 2. Is there something you can simplify before you multiply? Think about it. Okay, now that you thought about it. What's the square root of 9? Oh my god, you guessed it. It's 3. The square root of t, you can't simplify it. So that's another way. <clears throat> Both of them are correct. But we're going to talk about this method one first. We're going to learn about how to simplify that after I give you your fun fact of the day. I was intrigued. Okay. All right, so here's our fun fact of the day. Since most of you can probably guess that I'm a little obsessed with vans this week and next week, and it's even on the floor if people haven't stepped all over it. Um, <clears throat> also known as squared vans or squared advancers. Did you know that vans did not start off as a skater or skateboard company? They actually started off as a rubber company. So for all you skaters out there, you probably already knew this. For all of you that didn't, learn something new every day.